Well, hey church, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. It is um, fab to have you with us today. And I don't know about you, but I'm so excited for all that is gonna happen in this month and for everything that God is going to do amongst us. And we are believing for signs, wonders, miracles, and breakthroughs um, in our church and in our communities. And so today we are focusing um, on wellbeing and mental health. And I'm going to read to you a psalm. And should I say, first of all, that I'm Julie um, and you'll find me at the Central Campus and I'm involved in all things wellbeing. So that's me. Um, so Psalm 23, I'm going to read to you this morning, just one of the verses from this incredible psalm that I'm sure you're going to be a little bit familiar with. And this particular verse says, he guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now, I'm sure that many of us have read this psalm before, but I wonder, have you ever noticed that even the right path sometimes goes through the valley? As human beings living life on earth, we will experience times of sadness, feelings of loss, sorrow and low mood in response to the difficulties that we experience along that right path that this psalm describes. Research done during the coronavirus pandemic in 2020 indicated that more people during that time reported having low mood and anxiety. Now, why? Um, well, because people couldn't see their relatives and friends, um, that some people lost jobs, some people were furloughed, and some people actually lost um, relatives and friends. And I want to suggest that feeling low and anxious because of those things was a very normal response to an abnormal situation. Feeling low because of a global pandemic isn't disordered or an illness, but it's actually normal because when we when stuff happens, we feel. And there's an incredible um, Christian cognitive neuroscientist, now that's a mouthful, called Dr. Caroline Leaf. Some of you will have heard of her. And she said an amazing thing. She said, anxiety and depression are injuries, not identities. They're injuries, not identities. And oftentimes, particularly in our social media driven world, people find their identity in symptoms that are actually signposts. Our difficult feelings signpost us to circumstances or situations that have impacted us along the way. And we need to take time to process them. So those symptoms are signposts to things in our lives that maybe we need to pause, think through and pray through. And Psalm 23 gives us a wonderful window into the emotional and of course spiritual life of David at a time where he was utterly worn out by the conflict he was facing, God made him lie down. Mm, sound familiar? God restored his soul. God met with him right in front of his enemies. He didn't take him out of the conflict, but he met with him in it. And then he anointed him. David said that his cup was overflowing, signifying a full measure of blessing and joy whilst his enemies looked on. So even in the midst of all the chaos and all that was going on, God met him and anointed him. And I love the way this psalm ends. Um, David, even though his circumstances were still complex and treacherous, he was now strengthened by God and he made a declaration over his present and his future. And I love this word, surely. He said, surely your love and goodness will follow me all the days of my life. And I really pray that today in this month of prayer, maybe in the midst of what you're going through, that you will have a surely moment today. Surely God is with me. Surely God is good. And surely I'm not only going to come through this time, but I'm going to thrive in the midst of everything and see God do miracles in my life and in my my home and in my family and in my community. 
So let's quickly pray together. Father, we thank you for all that you are doing in our lives, in our families, in our communities, in our church and in our city. And Father God, we want to declare over every life, every family today, your um, blessing that you'd break in where there's challenges, particularly maybe where there's challenges in well-being and mental health. And we pray for breakthrough, healing and thriving in Jesus' name. Amen. See you soon, church. Thank you.